Back to the Gothics. That's a look of Monterey Bay. We are not there. We are in Seaside, California at the Bayonet Black Horse, the host of the PGA Professional National Championship. And I am now joined by Mark Brown, a fellow Metropolitan PGA professional at the yeah. Tam O'Shanter Club there in Brookville, New York. And Brownie, you've had a chance to play in this tournament a number of times, almost won it in 2000, and you've had three chips, trips to the PGA Championship. What does this tournament mean to you? Well, it's, it's a highlight for a PGA professional to play in the national uh, championship. And then if you get in the top 20 to play in the PGA, it's like icing on the cake. It's what all the professionals really try, try and strive for during the year. Yep. All right, so we're doing a little instruction now, and I don't think anybody's got better. I mean, I think your impact position is as good as anybody's. You and I have talked about it a lot through the years, and, and so what I wanted to do was try to share some of your insight into what you do, what you think about, what you teach when it comes to impact, because that's what everybody wants to know about. So okay. I'm going to back off here and let you just kind of share your thoughts. Well, growing up, I played a lot of baseball, played a lot of hockey, and, and, and the motion of, of going from your right side to your left side really... Uh, help me incorporate that that impact position for me and I think the viewers at home really could pick up on that well first of all show us what because so many people don't understand what impact actually looks like they think it looks just like at a dress but it's not really that well, it's case a little is different it? you know uh, as you set up here you're, you're in a pretty much neutral position here yeah and then as you get into impact your weight transfers to your left side and your handle of the club gets a little bit ahead and keep yeah, that, that handle is well forward right there and the body is kind of open the lower body is kind of open and the shoulders are a little bit open right just a little bit open yeah okay get that ball to go straight yep a lot of my students that I see back home that I'm that I'm teaching they don't get in this good position they, they waste a lot of time when, when their arms go up here and their arms kind of fold here they yep. really don't create a lever to hit down on that ball yeah so a couple things I try and teach them at home is try and get that club back in a good position here and then set that second lever so from this position, really all you need to do is shift your weight, and that's why I have that stick in the middle. I try and get my students just to get that club set in an angle right here, and then feel like that belt buckle crosses over this line right here. Okay, so go back to what you were talking about, because I want to talk about the second lever. The second lever you're talking about is this angle of the wrist between the forearm and the club shaft. That's what you're talking Correct, about? Correct, yeah. Okay, so we so set one that. one lever here, and then the second lever right here. Okay, so we're going to set that right there, and then you're focusing on making sure that the belt, belt buckle, buckle is here. getting in front of that, that, that alignment arms. rod. Correct. Okay. And the club's down in front of me, and hopefully my weight's on my left side as I hit it, which strikes down, gets that ball up in the air, as we know. And do you try to get them to do like a rehearsal move, like a pump move or something like that? Is I, there? I try and get the students to do a lot of, lot of this motion to get a feeling of what this feels like, and then as they get ready to go, just try and, try and mimic this position here as they get back, and then hit that ball right down. All right, there. so show us one of those okay. right there. Yep, and that's an impact position. And so do you, do you get a, a picture of impact in your mind, or are you actually seeing that, that alignment rod and just really feeling that, that belt buckle getting in uh, front of that? I re I'm really trying to feel that belt buckle get ahead, and then, and then at the end I'm just really trying to get my back of my hand facing that target as, as fast so as I can. So you're almost towing down the, the, the club a little bit there? Exactly. Okay, so show them what you're talking about when you mean that. So what you don't want to do is come through here and have the handle like this because the face of the club is pointing over to the right. That's where the Correct. ball's going to go. So you're feeling this hand, the, the back of the left hand kind of go down? Correct. Yeah, the knuckle's almost down or the, the logo of the glove kind of facing the target as you hit the ball. Beautiful. All right, show us another one of those. Boy, that's an impact position. All right, my friend, now, your favorite tip. I know you've got a lot. Comes. I've seen some of them through the years, even saw some on uh, the Internet. Now, what's your favorite? Give me your favorite. I'm, I'm going to tee up. I'm going to go with a nice, easy, simple one that seems to be working for me. Um, you know, day in and day out. I've used this since I grew up as a kid, and it's a pretty basic one, really. And I'm sure you've all heard of it, but I think you can relate back home. If you can get that club head, the toe of the club pointing up in the sky right here, the 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock drill, so the toe goes up here, and as you go through impact, and the toe comes up on the other side, pretty much in the middle, the club should be square in between, we hope. Okay, so, so you're getting a chance. When you, when you go into that toe-up position through there, you're actually rehearsing that, that knuckles-down position and that logo getting that way. Correct. It's almost, like you, it's almost like a magic trick, as I tell my members here. Now you see the logo. By the time you get to your left leg, now you don't see it. Nice. You're giving some magic for everybody. <laughs> That's my man. Mark Brown, thanks, my friend. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Good to see you. You too. All righty.